they were going to measure static versus dynamic visual acuity. So the first thing you want to have the patient do is read the lowest line that they could with their head still. And so let's say that we did this test, we were here, and on this chart that's 2020. You have to have the patient back the appropriate distance based on your chart. So for this chart, it's 13 feet. So you get a baseline static visual acuity, and then you compare that to the what the uh, how well the patient performs when you oscillate the head at two hertz, two cycles per second, and you get a visual acuity again. So after oscillating the patient's head for two hertz, during that the patient tells you what line they can read, and so you compare their static visual acuity to where they are. Uh, while you're oscillating the head and you measure the difference. Uh, two lines or less, or less than two lines is considered 